So this recipe is going to make the tastiest chicken drumsticks all in one pot, hardly any mess or washing up and they're going to be absolutely delicious. So I've got about one kilo of skin on chicken drumsticks. I'm using frozen garlic, this is about the equivalent of two teaspoons or two cloves of chopped garlic. In here I've got about three quarters of a cup of ketchup and that is around 185 ml. And then we've got some spices in here, so there's one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, I've got one teaspoon of cumin, a little bit of black pepper, probably around half a teaspoon. Cayenne, we've got just over a quarter of a teaspoon and around a teaspoon of salt. And last but not least, we've got about half a teaspoon of English mustard. If you were using Dijon mustard, you could add in a whole teaspoon. We are just gonna put all this together, mix it in the slow cooker, pop it on low for six hours, and it will be the most perfect fall off the bone tender chicken you've ever had. So first things first, we're just gonna add our chicken straight into our slow cooker. I'm actually using my pressure cooker for this recipe because it's got a slow cook function. Next up, we're just gonna go in with all our spices at once. Like I said, this is really easy and there's hardly any washing up. Add in the mustard as well. I'm gonna pop in the garlic. I will leave all the ingredients typed out in the description box below this video. And we're gonna add in our ketchup. And I'm just gonna give this a good mix together with some kitchen tongs. You could get in there and use your hands if you wanted to. When you've fully coated your chicken and it's all mixed together, we're gonna slow cook this on low for six hours and I will be back to show you the most tender fall apart chicken you've ever had out of a slow cooker. So here we are after six hours of cooking. The house smells amazing and I am really looking forward to this. This chicken is just gonna fall off the bone. So I'm gonna fish some out very carefully and show you on a plate. that lovely juice so tender it literally just falls straight off the bone the flavors are amazing you've got loads and loads of that lovely sauce which has thickened up perfectly I've just popped mine on some rice and I've also served it with some spring onions this would be amazing on mash as well took seconds to throw together I've left it alone all day and it is just melt in the mouth delicious. It's what you do and making me feel like